This year's Valentine's Day, which celebrates love and is marked by ladies receiving boxes of chocolates, diamond jewelry, and red flowers, fell on a Wednesday. Hollywood celebrities were also quick to use social media to send heartfelt messages to their devoted fans first thing in the morning. A lot of these gorgeous women undressed to show off their bikinis or lingerie, which appears to have become a Valentine's Day custom in recent years. Others simply posted adorable red heart emojis while posing with their loved ones, friends, and pets. And some, like Khloe and Kourtney Kardashian, displayed baked goodies with a pink and red theme. Comedian Kathy Griffin tweeted, I'm getting divorced, indicating that she was not as thrilled about the occasion. F asterisk 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 all of you and F asterisk 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 Valentine's Day. Did I really say that? Thank heavens, this weekend I have three shows. Regardless of sexual orientation, I'm going to make every individual in the crowd my special Valentine. Jennifer Lopez was among the first ladies to reveal their notes, presenting a flashback image of herself in red underwear. She also shared a picture of herself, her twins Max and Emmy, and her husband Ben Affleck. Michael Douglas, Catherine Zeta-Jones' spouse of many years, was spotted cuddling up to the camera. As she referred to her spouse Danny Motor as her forever valentine, Julia Roberts was spotted kissing him. Drew Scott received a lovely Valentine's Day note from Zoe Deschanel. Every year on February 14, Valentine's Day, also known as St. Valentine's Day or the Feast of St. Valentine, is observed. Through later folk traditions, it evolved from its original Christian feast day honoring one or two early Christian martyrs known as St. Valentine to become a major global festival of passion and love in many spheres of life, including the arts, religion, and commerce. Chase Stokes, Kelsey Ballerini's boyfriend, was embracing her and referring to her as her bestie. In a post he also shared for Kelsey, he expressed his love for her after a year. Harry Hamlin, the spouse of Lisa Rinna of Rob, was spotted in a boat on a lake, and Lisa Rinna referred to him as her forever valentine. No nation observes St. Valentine's Day as a public holiday. In commemoration of Hieromartyr Valentine, the Bishop of Interamna, modern-day Terni, and on July 30 in honor of the Roman presbyter St. Valentine, Several Eastern Orthodox churches also observe St. Valentine's Day. Pink, 44, stated, thankful for my Valentine's Day, while posing on a beach with her two children, Willow and Jameson. As he cuddled up to his model wife Rhea and sent her well wishes, Mark Wahlberg looked adorable. By a swimming pool, Teresa Giudice of Real Housewives of New Jersey was spotted kissing her spouse and soul mate. Aubrey Page, the girlfriend of Ryan Seacrest, proudly posed with her boyfriend, the American Idol star. They were taking a selfie while cuddling. Cindy Crawford posted a dashing picture of her husband Rand Gerber, who alongside George Clooney co-founded Casamigos Tequila. Happy to have you as a life partner and looking forward to our upcoming adventures. I cherish you. As dusk was falling, Victoria Beckham was spotted kissing her husband David and saying, to an amazing wife, mummy and best friend. I cherish you. For Valentine's Day, actress Blanca Blanco of I for I appeared in a bikini with a heart print. During a tropical holiday, the Washington native was spotted at the beach wearing the tiny swimwear and letting her abs do the talking. The TV and film actress didn't use makeup in photos shot in the Caribbean. Instead, she wore her long, chocolate-colored hair down in natural curls. The Tale of Tales actress also revealed her latest diet tip. The author of Breaking the Mold declared, I could eat something sweet every single day because I love sweets. So, I've been using this amazing hack that a friend told me about. And it functions. It seems that Blanca is able to have her cake and eat it too. It's all about switching out the ingredients, she explained. Since I was a young child, chocolate chip cookies have been my favorite, therefore I make them frequently at home. I now use different ingredients instead of using all the components listed on the container. Blanca stated that she utilizes sugar substitutes, 
such as stevia, which has no calories. There are a lot of options available these days, and while some of them feel a little bit like cheating, there are some really healthy options, like stevia, that taste fantastic. I also use unsweetened applesauce, keto chocolate chips, low sodium, pure, organic vanilla extract, and gluten-free flour. I love backed apples and I used to use real sugar, but now I use stevia and cinnamon, says the other hacker. It is a delicious delicacy that isn't at all fattening. She revealed her diet trick last month. She said, on days when I'm feeling lazy, I split up my workouts into two 10-minute sessions. I know it sounds ridiculous, but running on a treadmill for 10 minutes really makes you sweat. So I get up and do that. I will then perform sit-ups for 10 more minutes later in the day. That works out for 20 minutes. You can drop a pound a week if you follow through on it daily, and it truly does help. She claimed that in terms of workout fatigue, she is just like everyone else. Many people mistakenly believe that I enjoy going to the gym, but in reality, there are moments when I would much rather stay home and binge watch Netflix, the woman admitted. I typically work out five days a week for an hour each day. I engage in it because it helps me feel so good and for my mental health. Even the two 10-minute workouts give me a boost and increase my endorphin levels. On the Drew Barrymore show, Demi Lovato discussed her relationship with her fiancé, Jordan Lutz. The pop star, 31, sang her partner's praises during her appearance on the daytime talk show's Valentine's Day program. She also talked about how she instantly developed a crush on the 32-year-old Canadian singer after their first encounter and what her dream date would be. The Grammy nominee was practically blushing as she explained how they met, happening to cross paths at a recording studio. She said to the host, it's really hard to meet people these days. So to be able to enter a creative environment and meet someone with whom you fell in love right away. The hottest guy simply happened to stroll into the studio, she admitted to texting her friends, and then she asked for their advice on what to do. The couple had been pals for a few months when they fell in love and made their relationship official when she surprised him with a lavish gesture in her lawn on his birthday. Barrymore asked Lutz more questions later in the broadcast, including what, something really weird that, they do when, no one else is around. So many things immediately spring to mind, she exclaimed. I love that Jordan and I can be our goofiest selves together, the best thing about being together. Lovato remarked that their impromptu, ridiculous dances while brushing their teeth are her favorite thing. She stated that anywhere with Lutz is fantastic for their ideal date. The performer then asked her if she would rather eat pickles, drink pickle juice, or freeze the pickles into popsicles, veering off topic to ask about their relationship. You know how much I love those popsicles with pickle juice, I might have to choose those, she pondered. In brand new photos posted to Instagram on Tuesday night by Dennis Leupold, Christina Aguilera flaunted her newly trim figure. The celebrity seemed excited to be flaunting her significant weight loss over the last several months. The singer accessorized the little ensemble with white over-the-knee boots and a sweetheart neckline, and she looked stunning. The singer, 43, donned the ensemble during her Las Vegas performance. Along with a cute picture of her little handbag dog, there was also a picture of her with her partner, Matthew Rutler. The celebrity was later spotted with Jason Derulo, Megan Fox, and her boyfriend Machine Gun Kelly. She mentioned she was in Las Vegas in her post, but all she wrote was, about this weekend. Aguilera made her way back to Las Vegas in January following her 10-month experience with Burlesquier in 2019. This newly opened venue, Voltaire Belle de Nute at the Venetian, is intimate. Beyoncé has been sharing pictures of herself wearing sophisticated attire in anticipation of the release of her next country album, A Sit 2. She didn't let her fans down with a Valentine's Day post. The hitmaker showed off her curves while wearing a sheer black dress that showed off her underwear. She compared her husband Jay-Z's somber black suit with her stunning ensemble, which included a black cowboy hat and her recently blonde hair. 
In additional pictures, she was wearing a black mini dress, thin sunglasses, and thigh high boots. She added, Happy Valentine's Day to you, sending lots of love. Kelly Rowland, a bandmate from Destiny's Child, accentuated her amazing body with a red leather crop top, matching slacks, and a furry red jacket. She included a picture of her husband, Tim Weatherspoon, with the Valentine's Day post, captioning it, Faux fur not faux love. Selena Gomez returned with a Valentine's Day post after sharing an especially touching picture with her boyfriend Benny Blanco. In it, she flashed her tongue and made a V sign with her fingers, while Benny did the same gesture but covered his lips with his fingers. Victoria Lee Robinson, Tom Sandoval's girlfriend, shared a cute picture of the Vanderpump Rules star enjoying a romantic day on a boat. The Riverdale actress Camila Mendez looked adorable in a monochrome picture of her boyfriend Rudy Mancuso giving her a cheek kiss and an embrace. He traveled all the way to the UK, according to her, to be there for her as she filmed the project. With her ex-husband Nick Cannon, Mariah Carey is the mother to twins Moroccan and Monroe. She recently shared a sweet picture of her son Moroccan kissing her and carrying a heart-shaped balloon. She wrote, My Funny Valentine, as the post's caption. A low-key selfie that Ellen DeGeneres and her spouse Portia de Rossi shared to Ellen's Instagram stories featured them grinning for the camera. She wrote, Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Ilaria Baldwin commemorated the momentous occasion by sharing what might be our first whole family selfie with her spouse Alec Baldwin and their kids, however, Ireland Baldwin, Alec's daughter from his marriage to Kim Basinger, was noticeably absent. In 2020, Barbara Palvin came across a humorous post from her spouse Dylan Sprouse, expressing his wish to grow a mustache that year. She responded with an image of him with a beard, and he did the same with one of her considering a menu. He captioned it, saying, Happy Valentine's Day to my beautiful wife. Being able to say that is really cool. For Valentine's Day, Heidi Klum had a leisurely bath amid crimson flowers and sang to her four children and husband Tom Collitz in the caption. The post by Nikki Hilton was brief yet heartfelt. In a beautiful sunset beach photo, she and husband James Rothschild shared an embrace and a kiss. In a close-up picture she uploaded, Ashley Graham and her husband Justin Irvin, whom she married in 2010, also shared a tender kiss by the water. Cindy Crawford posted a picture of the pretty roses her husband Rand Gerber bought her for the holiday and expressed gratitude for him. Lisa Rinna honored her husband Harry Hamlin by sharing a formal photo of the two of them. She also shared a funny contrast of him looking like he was ready to go fishing while wearing a black helmet and visor. Matthew Coma, the spouse of Hilary Duff, enjoyed making fun of her on Valentine's Day. Years before they were married, he shared a number of pictures of her at other beaches with past boyfriends and other men. I would like to express my gratitude to all the courageous men who have saved my wife from perilous oceans over the years on this Valentine's Day. His funny caption was, You don't go unnoticed and your fearlessness is celebrated in our home every day. You really are sick. Matthew, his wife chastised him in the captions. I'm so grateful you're still here with us hashtag survived, he responded. She included images of the two together as well as a sweet photo of him holding their lovely corgi in her own memorial post. Matthew, you are loved. She laughed back, the only thing I would change would be your dairy allergy. Nicola Peltz, the spouse of Brooklyn Beckham, was prepared with matching Valentine's Day posts. In a picture he posted of her, she looked stunning and he said, we'll love you forever and ever. Earlier this month, Nicola shared a black and white photo of the couple sharing a passionate kiss. My love, happy Valentine's Day. Every day, I fall more in love with you, she wrote. When Brooklyn's mother Victoria Beckham put six red love emojis in the comments, she implied that she and her daughter-in-law were not at odds. Brooklyn responded with, my baby girl XXXX, I adore you so much. Atiana de la Hoya, the boxer Oscar de la Hoya's daughter, and Shauna Mochler, 
whose ex-husband Travis Barker co-parents the child as his own, shared a close-up picture of themselves with lover Amit Brand and a picture of them sharing a passionate kiss at Disneyland.